that too. But yeah, maybe in the future, mm. we'll just upgrade to that stuff. You know, um, idea too. oh sorry, you know, the last time we had you on, that's pretty memorable because it was, I think it was a week out from the, the lockdown, yeah. eh? And you'd just gone, you just talked about quitting your job, mm. and then you know you'd had everything set, and then good old COVID nineteen yeah. came and, to, and said to you, "Sorry, relax." <laughs> relax. <laughs> you might have relax. To, uh, yeah, sorry, bro. You know, because you, bro, yeah. like when you explained it to us. Like man, that's a look. Like, that's an awesome idea. You're following your passion. Yeah, yeah. And then this, you know, that this the was it a week before the lockdown? Mm. Two before the lockdown, mm. eh? Mm. Man, how did you? So uh, going back, how did you? I'm um, so. I mean, how was it? Was man? To be because honest, we haven't caught up since then. To be honest, um, even during that time that I was here, and we did that podcast, but the back of my mind, I was worried. Man. Yeah, I of course you would as. be. Like, it was at the back of my mind, and like remember, we were talking about hope it doesn't get to level four, and like, we just laugh about it. But at the back of my mind, oh, I, I left here, and I was like, man, the podcast was me, but man, I hope it doesn't get to level four. Next minute, the worst happened, and it did, and then everything like went down the drain for me from there. Mm. It was yeah, and then that's when I we really um, went through hardship because like the reason why I quit at the time because my schedule was it was the right timing. My I looked at my calendar, had shows in Australia, had um, private gigs in Australia, had shows, gigs over here, and then plus our weekly club um, rotation that we do. So everything <coughs> was set, and then all of a sudden, just for COVID to hit, and then we all had to stay home. And then my calendar it just got wiped, and then from there, with my calendar getting wiped, was no work, which meant no income, just like that. All of a sudden, we we I found myself or just um, relying on one income, which was my wife. And it was a big loss even from leaving my work. And like we couldn't even like apply, I couldn't apply for any subsidy or anything because it was not like I was a registered businessman or something. So I couldn't even apply for any of that. So yeah, lucky, luckily for my wife, pretty much held it down for us. But like it, it took a toll on me too. It was challenging like mentally, like being a, providing for my family for the last what 15 years or so mm. oh no yeah 15 13 14 whatever and then all of a sudden <coughs> being helpless and being this man that is not bringing anything to the table anymore all of a sudden yeah. but that's why i was thankful for my missus that she was like she's a real good understanding person she's been supporting what i've been wanting to do for since way back since we met so without her, like it could have been worse though. But yeah, it just got worse though, it got harder. We tried our best. And then it got to the point where um, we had to move in from um, Mr. ABCGI, my also Selena and my sister Frida. So they kind of took us in, helped us out. We're still staying, we're still with them now. So we're staying together. And that kind of like took a lot of weight off mm. my shoulders and that. So yeah, thankful for them helping through and then but still at the time I wasn't still making anything like my wife was still holding it down we just were in a better situation now because we were living with Selena and then and then um, along the way you know we were just waiting for the lockdown to finish and then the weeks went by I was just kept dragging and dragging yeah, it did, yeah. and then that also helped me um start up my merch or something I was meant to do like in the like ages ago but because I was working at the time I was too busy for this but then also right time for it you know so then that started up and then that kind of like first time i was starting to make money again there eh? through through the through the merch and that was like popping off too i was blessed too a lot of people were purchasing you from aussie and stuff so that was good though and then uh, uh, and then around that time that's when the lockdown kind of was over again and then we're in the talks about going back to um the clubs and People were starting to ring back, inquiring about booking for gigs in it. But according to what level was going to happen in it, yeah. Wasn't level two when they were allowed? Was it level two when the clubs allowed to be open? Um, no, nah, yeah, I think nah, it was level. Yeah, yeah, level two. Mm. Nah, but I think. No, you still had to be seated. Yeah, uh, that's hey, that's where we were. Um, yeah. Fortunate because of because of the way trilogy is laid out. Mm. It's, it's a lot of seating. Mm. Yeah, so we opened before every other club. Yeah, yeah. So we were able to open like way before everyone else was coming back on board on level one. But I don't, I don't remember that from the first time. I just remember that from the second 
lockdown when we were able to go back. Yeah. That's but it was hard though, like mm. my plans went down the drain. I was even thinking of going back to work and like I talked to my wife about it but she was that good, like she was telling me just don't give up, still follow your dreams. I still wanted to of course, that this is my dream but when you're in the situation where you feel helpless, mm. you're, not put, you're not supporting your my two kids and my wife, you know, that, those kind of things go through your head and then like, even like going through my head was like you know, man, this is not worth it. I started getting angry at myself, really, for for leaving. Started of feeling like I was, I did a selfish move. But yeah, she just reminded me, like it's not my fault. I was, you know, no one knew COVID was going to happen. Exactly. Like, if I knew COVID was going to happen, I, I still would have left, but not then. Yeah, Maybe yeah. like After. next year or something. <laughs> yeah, I was good, like kind of like uh, like away from the music talk. It strengthened like me and my wife's relationship when we realised how tight we were as a unit to go and overcome through that stuff, yeah. So that was pretty good.